Hello guys, welcome to your channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce the 5 most popular and most downloaded QGIS plugins. If you're looking for the tools that make your JS projects faster and more professional, stay with us until the end. Before jumping in, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. You can support us more by joining membership and super like. Thank you so much, now let's dive in. If you are already a QGIS user, highly likely you are familiar with installing plugins. For those who are not, you'll just need to go to the Plugins tab and click Manage and Install Plugins. A window appears that let you manage all the plugins in QGIS. If you need any plugin, just type its name in the search bar. You'll get it. If by any chance you couldn't find the desired plugin, just go to the official QGIS website find and download the plugin and install it using the install from zip option. Alright, with that being said, let's get to the popular plugins which I highly recommend using. Our first plugin with the most downloads is Quick Map Services. If you saw our QGIS videos, this plugin has been widely used because of its usefulness. Quick Map Services is a must-have QGIS plugin that lets you add base maps like OpenStreetMap, Google Maps and Bing to your project with just few clicks. It offers access to hundreds of map services, making it super easy to visualize your special data. Perfect for GS pros and beginners alike. Only by clicking on the install plugin, that plugin will be installed. I've created videos for all the mission plugins and uploaded them to our YouTube channel. The links to the videos are available in the description. All right, now we can display various base maps. I'll show you a few of them as examples. The second plugin with the most downloads is OpenLayer Plugins. OpenLayer's plugin for QGIS allows you to add web-based base maps, such as OpenStreetMap, Google Maps, or Yahoo Maps, to your projects. It's a simple tool for integrating online map services into your GIS workflow. Note that it hasn't been updated since 2018, and Quick Map Services is often a more modern alternative. Like other plugins, I searched for the OpenLayers plugin in the plugins window. As you can see, it didn't find it. Because my QGIS version is up to date and this plugin is not available for this version. So, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, we can easily download and install the desired plugins from the official QGIS website. To do so, firstly we should go to the QGIS website and from the resources tab, find the plugins option. Then click on Explore. Now you have access to all the available plugins for free. Instead of scrolling, you can use the search option up here and find the plugins faster. All right, after finding the plugin, we need to download it first. Then return to the plugins window again. Now on the left side, there are a few options. One of them is install from zip. I click on it, then import the downloaded file and finally hit the install plugin. As you can see, the plugin installed successfully. But if you click on it, 
you'll see that it's not compatible with this version and designed for older versions. Okay, the third popular plugin is the semi-automatic classification plugin. The semi-automatic classification plugin for QGIS is a powerful tool for remote sensing and image classification. It simplifies tasks like land cover analysis, image preprocessing, and supervised classification of satellite imagery. The same as other plugins, search for it in the plugins window and after finding it, hit the install plugin. This plugin is very important and practical plugin that allows you to perform various pre-processing, processing, downloading, and other tasks. It gives you so many commands that make this plugin one of the best and popular plugins among the others. I'm sure you'll like this plugin. The first plugin is Quick OSM. What does this plugin do anyway? Well, this plugin makes it easy to download and use OpenStreetMap data via the Overpass API. It lets you query specific features like roads or buildings using key value pairs and load them as vector layers in QGIS. With support for custom queries and presets, it's perfect for GIS users needing fast access to OSM data. So again, I search Quick OSM in the search bar and install it. And if I open it, you can see that it gives ways to download data or do queries and such. In summary, Various types of data can be prepared and downloaded using this plugin. Let me download and import the building data as an example. All right, I downloaded the data here and using the quick map services, I added base map too. Now I can clearly see what's going on. Let's zoom a bit. And the same as other layers, you can go to the attribute table. And finally, the last plugin is HCMGIS. The HCMGIS plugin for QGIS is a versatile toolset designed for streamlined GIS workflows. It offers access to global base maps from providers like Google, Esri, and OpenStreetMap, batch conversion of CSV to shape files, and other GIS formats, and downloading open data from sources like OSM Geofabric and Microsoft Building Footprints. It also includes tools for VN2000 projections and attribute calculations, making it ideal for urban planning, environmental analysis, and geospatial data management. Alright, search SCMGS and install the plugin. As simple as that. Unlike the other plugins, this one is added to the tab section of the software beside the help. If I click on it, you can see its options such as base maps, download open data, conversion, and so on. Similar to the Quick Map services, there are base maps that can be added, but I actually prefer the Quick Map services, it's more convenient.
Also, a variety of data can be easily downloaded. Here, I can download a good data set for the continent of Africa and country of Algeria. As you can see, a very good data set for the desired country was downloaded. And that's it for today's guys. I tried to keep everything simple. If you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support motivates us to create good stuff. I hope this video was helpful. Until next one, be safe.